Hey, this is your boy Bob TV. As we wind down to the end of this election cycle, I'm going to share with you a couple of people who I am supporting for office. Not that I'm telling you who to vote for. All right, so the list goes on. I'm here in New York. I'm in the blue state. So this state is pretty much going to go to Hillary Clinton because it's a heavily blue state and a lot of people who run this state are Clintonites. They are heavily on our side from uh, Governor Cuomo, um, Bill de Blasio, uh, you name it. Bloomberg, you name it. This is Clinton country, uh, even though it was stolen from Bernie Sanders. I do want to say that. Um, people who I'm voting for office um, or who I support that may not be in my state, friends of mine, uh, Debbie Co Coenza, uh, New Hampshire State Representative, District 6, Rockingham County in New Hampshire. Marsha Squire, great friend of mine. So I w was going to have her on my show, uh, but I get nervous about live interview. I'm not good about, um, I, I, I'm not good about live interviews. It's just not my cup of tea and I try to stay in my lane. But she's awesome. Look her up on um, YouTube and look her up, I mean, not YouTube, but on Facebook and look at her site. Uh, she's running for Congress in Michigan, 14 district, under the Green Party. Uh, Debbie Kuinsa, she's running under the Green Party ticket. Zephyr Teachout, she's a uh, um, Bernie Kratt uh, under the Democratic ticket. Um, she's running for candidate for United States representative of the 19th New York district. I'm voting for her because uh, she is doing whatever she can to get politics, uh, money out of politics, the whole nine yards. My girl, the beautiful, Robin Laverne Wilson. Um, she's running for U.S. State Senate in New York City. I want her to win so bad because I don't like Chuck Schumer. Chuck Schumer is another corporate Democrat that has thrown regular people, working people under the bus. People think that he's on their side, and this is what gets me. We're going to vote for these people, and these people are not... Um, for the people, they're for corporations. And they take all this lobbyist money and they're pretty much, you know, I'm not bought. If you're taking the money, they can influence you. So um, I'm voting for Robin. Robin is an on fire activist, um, just like Jill Stein, uh, who's been out there on the forefront, on the ground with the people, advocating for them. So this, these are the people who I want in office, advocates of the people, not advocates of the corporations. Or, or, or the donor class. We need advocates of the people. And one of the reasons why I don't put my hand heavily into the Democratic Party is because the Democratic Party has left the people and became advocates of the donor class. Uh, next person um, I'm supporting uh, in here in New York is, um, let me go, we got a lot of people, a lot of them on the Green Party. Um, and uh, I'm a little favorite for the Green Party because a um, majority of these people are activists. They work with the people on the ground. Uh, they don't just, you know, talk to talk. They walk to walk. Um, let's see. So many. I got to go through my list. Robin Levine, Matt Funicello, uh, U.S. Congress, District 21, um, Clinton, Essex, uh, Franklin County, Fulton County, Hamilton, Herkimer, Jefferson, Lewis, uh, I can go on and on. I'm supporting him. Uh, Steve Rusbaki, I'm supporting him for New York State Senate, 45th District in Manhattan. Joseph Levy, I'm supporting him for the 43rd District of New York State. Um, Diva Author, I'm supporting them. Her, uh, I mean, Frank Shaw, Frank Coyce, cool guy, supporting him um, for the 5th District of New York City. Uh, Robin Barking Hagen, um, supporting them for the uh, State Assembly 114th District in Manhattan. And Jeffrey Perez, County Legislator, District 11. I'm uh, supporting them for the Green Party in New York, uh, in Nassau County. Lauren Hurst, um, Joseph Neham, I'm supporting him for the District 20 in Nassau County, uh, Long Island. Um, in New York. And I'm voting for my, my close friend of mine, the person who I work with a lot, and that's Ruben Diaz uh, for State Senator of New York. And I'm also supporting 
um, Louis Sepulveda here in the Bronx. Um, I myself will be putting uh, a possible bid in uh, for um, for um, um, my mind is all in this election, so excuse me. I myself will be putting my bid in for for the community board here in New York City. I'm gonna start off small and grow my way up. Um, am I planning on? I really don't see myself as a politician. I'm an activist, and I think activists should be in Washington D.C. more than politicians. Um, so these are the people who I'm supporting. These are the people who I am voting for tomorrow, and I'm proudly. The last on the top of the ticket is Jill Stein. I am honored and proud and privileged to vote for Dr. Stein, a woman that's out there, been out there on the ground floor for the people. People say, well, how come the Green Party only show up every four years? No, they out there. You just don't know it because the media don't want you to know about them. They blacked them out. They don't want you to have no kind of knowledge of third party. So as soon as the third party started getting, getting a rise up, people think, well, where have they been? They 